This is Mahmud Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of Soidos. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, I list a drawing from the top plane. In the top plane, we will first draw this portion. And for drawing this portion, now we can see this horizontal line has a dimension of 142 unit. Then we have another line and this line has a dimension of 90 unit. Then we have another line in this portion and this line has a dimension of 70 unit. Then we will draw an incline line. And after that we can see in this portion, this incline line has a uh, fillet of radius 25. And in this other portion, we have another fillet of radius 25. And after that we can see two, we have two Stuttgart circle. One is here and another is here. And two Stuttgart circle has a dimension of 16 diameter. And we can see this first Stuttgart circle has a, a distance of 40 unit from here and 25 unit from here. And we can see second Stuttgart circle has a distance of uh, from this circle to this circle 25 unit and from this circle to this circle 92 unit. Okay, let's start drawing. So I am selecting the top plane here. Now sketch. Now select the center rectangle or you can draw manually. Okay. I will use line tool manually. So selecting the line tool and drawing a horizontal line of 142 in it. Okay. So after that I am selecting line tool again and drawing another horizontal a vertical line of 90 unit and in the other portion again select line tool and draw another line of 70 unit or you can use the center line option then you can trim this uh, one side then redimension it. Or you can use the line tool as I am, I am doing. So now select this line and this line, connect these two points. After that, select the fillet option and in the fillet option, fillet 25 unit and select this point and also select this point. Now press OK. So all the fillet has been done. Okay, now it's time for a straight cut cycle. So a straight cut cycle, we need to draw two cycles. First of all, selecting the circle and placing the circle here. And this circle has a dimension of 16 diameter another circle here dimension of 16 diameter so after that select the span dimension option and if perform this one dimension select this line and this line and dimension it to 40 unit and again select this circle and this line dimension it to 25 unit after that select this circle and this circle and the distance is this vertical dis distance is 25 unit and again select this circle and select this previous circle and their horizontal distance is 92 unit so after that press ok now isometric it for a better view and now go to features and this time stood boss in here we can see we have a stood boss of 16 unit ok so going to features and stood boss and dimension it to 16 unit so I'm dimensioning it to 16 unit now press ok so after that in our case we will draw this portion and for drawing this portion we can see that uh, some dimension let me first demonstrate from this lower point to this upper point the dimension is 50 unit and we can see from this upper surface okay to this center point line the dimension is 58 unit so here you can see we have a circular uh, sketch here and this circular sketch has a radius of 50 diameter so what we will, will we draw so first of all i'll draw a vertical line of 58 unit okay after that i will draw a horizontal line of 50 unit then i'll draw a vertical line like here okay and after that we will i will draw you can see from here and this distance will be here we have an incline line and this incline line has a angle here and this angle is 45 degree and after that we can see that as the total di distance is here is 58 unit so this portion distance will be and uh, we can see for drawing this portion distance we will draw a distance we will draw a small dimension here this point to this point and we can see 
this point to this point the distance is 50 minus this 16 unit okay so we'll get this distance so after that i will draw a horizontal line like here then i'll trim this portion and this portion uh, then we can see uh, we have another circle here and this extra circle has a radius a di diameter of 16 unit and it has a distance of tw uh, 20 unit from this vertical line okay and this horizontal distance is 45 unit okay let me demonstrate so you will can you can better understand this so for this i am selecting this back face now I sketch now normal to it so as i said select a line place a line here and draw a line of 58 unit then draw a horizontal line of 50 unit and draw a vertical line and now i will select the smart dimension option okay select the smart dimension option and select this point uh, to this point this distance is 50 minus 16 unit or you can dimension total distance to 50 unit as you want okay uh, now you will select a line here and line tool here and place the line tool in this portion and draw a line of 45 degree angle okay so i'm drawing a line of 45 degree angle so it's my dimension it to 45 degree okay after that select the line tool again and select here and draw a horizontal line now select the trim option and trim all the unnecessary part so i am trimming all the unnecessary part that we don't need now we need to close these two point we, we can draw a line here or we can select this line and convert into this okay as you want now select the circle we have a straight cut circle here and this circle has a diameter of 16 unit now select the smart dimension tool and this circle to this distance it has 45 unit so dimension it to 45 unit okay and from this circle to this horizontal line the distance is 20 unit okay so 20 unit now press ok now isometric it for a better view now you can see here it has a stool boss of 16 unit okay uh, it has a stool boss of 16 unit okay go to features and now stool boss and now stool boss it to 16 unit reverse the direction now press ok now in here we can see we have a circular portion so this circle we have already told this circle has a diameter of 50 unit and after uh, drawing this circle we uh, from this surface we will extrude boss to this portion to 20 unit and in the other portion uh, we will extrude boss it to as you can see uh, let me clear this point out from this center line okay from this center line to this end line the total distance is 37 unit but if we see also this two, this extra portion it has a dimension of 55 unit so the total dimension here so the total dimension here is 37 plus 5 unit and so i will first x to boss in this direction to 20 unit then i will x to boss in the direction to that will be 37 plus 5 minus 20 unit okay and after drawing that we we have a uh, cut here we have a cut portion in here and for drawing this cut portion i will draw a center line here and from the center line i will draw a rectangular profile like this one by using the offset tools as the total dimension is 30 units so the half distance will be 15 unit in this way and 15 unit other way then i will cut it to 5 unit so i'll i'll get this extra cut portion okay after that we can see we have another inner extra cut circle and this inner extra cut circle has a Read diameter of 28 unit then i'll to cut this inner cycle 20, 20 28 unit here okay let me demonstrate so i am selecting this face now sketch now normal to it after that select the cycle and place the cycle to the center point here okay now dimension it to 50 diameter now isometric it for a better view now go to features now to boss now dimension it to 20 unit in direction 1 and go to in direction 2 
and dimension to 37 plus 5 unit minus 20 unit okay now press ok so after that uh, I am going to select this face now sketch now normal tweak after that select the center line from here and place the center line here uh, to here and draw a vertical line and from that vertical line uh, select the converging entities and as the total uh, distance we have told 30 units so the half distance will be 30 divided by 2 unit 15 unit so now select the bidirectional cap int now it's a line now press ok now i submit it for a better view now go to features and now it should cut now it should cut to, uh, it to 5 unit now press ok after that select this interface now sketch now normal to it now select the circle tool here and place the circle to the previous circle center line okay now this cycle has a dimension of 28 unit okay now I submit it for a better view now go to features now it should cut now it's to cut it to through all okay now press ok so in our case we have another thing here and uh, we can see that we have a fillet of 16 unit in this portion so we are going to do this fillet okay so doing so i'm selecting the fillet option from here and this fillet has a dimension of 16 radius and selecting this portion now press ok so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different